Zoom do. Dear Zoom, take a piece of cardboard and cut out different shapes. Put a sharpened pencil through them and see which ones make the best pop when you spin them. Try it. Daphne G. of Alameda, California. We're going to try and see which shapes make the best tops. But before we do this, we're going to show you how to make them. First, you have to find the exact center of the cardboard. You can do this with a compass or with a marker, thumbtack, and string. I'll just show you right here on the cardboard. Cardboard. Find the center of the cardboard around the center and poke the thumbtack through. Then draw the marker around. You want it to be straight up. All the way around. Okay. We already have a pre-cut piece of cardboard. Next, take your pencil and poke it all the way through. Wait, you might need the thumbtack because it's not... Oh, okay, there we go. Now take your pencil and stick it all the way through. And be careful so you don't poke yourself. There we go. Good job. Now we're going to put some clay on to keep the pencil in place on the cardboard. <laughs> and you want to push down hard so the pencil will really stay in place. And some needs to be on the bottom too. There we go. Like so. <laughs> So now it should look like this. Let's test it out. All right. Was that out of the way? Let me try it. Oh. Wow, that, that looks good. good. <laughs> it's a little wobbly. Yeah. So that's Stays pretty up good. Pretty long. Wow, that looks good. Yeah. Want to test the other ones that we made before? Sure. Okay, let's do the oval. Okay, looks like an egg. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> Let me I don't think this is working. <laughs> I, I don't think, think the that... square is going to work the best. Why? Because it's more even. It's... Oh, oh. Whoa. That looks pretty good. I guess, I think that it may be hard for it to move because these sides are yeah. longer, so they weigh more and they kind of topple over on that part. Let's try the square. So you think this one's going to work good? Yeah, because pretty much even on all four sides. Mm-hmm. One more try. Let me try. No. I think that this one may be too high up because every time it goes, up, it just goes to the side. Maybe yeah. if it was down lower. Want to put it down? Okay. There we go. Brought it lower. Now let's try it. Wow, that works much better. Didn't go as long, but it still worked better than before. Want to try the other ones? Yeah. Star. I don't think the star will work. Me neither. Because it doesn't have enough weight on it because all the way it was cut out. Yeah. In here. too light. Yeah. And it's too good. high up. That's what I think. Yeah. So, what do you think works the best? I think that the ovals and the circles work the best because mm -hmm. they are more They have got the same yeah. weight all the way all around. All the way around them. Out of the circles then, which one do you think? I think that they both were really good. They were, they're only a little different in shape and this was a little higher, but I think that Basically, circles work better when they're medium size, not too small, not too big, mm -hmm. and when they're close or a little farther. Let's spin it again. I love the colors on this. I know. They look so pretty. Wow. Mm -hmm. Try experimenting with this at home. Ask a question that you want answered, like, what would happen if you used a really short pencil? Write down what you thought was going to happen. That's your prediction. Then, test out the question that you wanted answered and send the results to Zoom. Send it to Zoom. Email www.tbs.org Or email Z-O-O-M-Bob.